salute to the YouTube family. Now, I want to talk about this gentleman right here, Robert Howard, aka Kenny K, aka Kenny Taps. Kenny Caps, I mean, you feel me? Rest in peace to Julio Fulio, but this get a little bit more brazy as far as what I already know. Now, a lot of Jacksonville alleged steppers was letting me know they think double cross happened with Kenny Caps. I'm not going to say yes or no to that. Now, if you want to ask me how I feel, I feel he loves Fulio. I don't believe in him being the one to double cross but i do gotta bring up the close proximities of friendship around the people who fulio call friends because kenny caps used to be cool with the people who want to kill fulio if you don't know what i'm talking about kenny caps is right here ladies and gentlemen robert howard he's the one who ended up killing spaz 1200 this is not snitching he went to prison for it he had a little bit loophole in the criminal systems where witnesses decided not to talk and he only you know what i'm going to show you his sentence before and before we get started and i do all that you guys need to hit the like button share this video and let me start this the right way i smoke g my with the magic he my dog he died in traffic with that brand new block 380 went to see the voodoo lady i'm on high shit right now that would not turn me crazy with a brand new black mercedes it's a stay la be my baby i see so many z's it look like double z's omg red and blue flag hanging on my back that extra swag now no two one no that know i'm from the road so i'm looking at kenny caps and i want y'all to understand he already got in trouble for the spaz situation you know what i mean he already did his time uh, uh i think he sat for like five years or something and he came home he was supposed to do life and get a life sentence on top of the other people he shot too only one died and nonetheless we're here today now shout out to Richard as far as loving his brother and trying to get justice his own way but at the end of the day states don't allow you to do it in those type of ways and we know what happens forward with it and what comes about with that now let me get to kenny k and give y'all the process of him being charged and pleading guilty to killing spaz 1200 time he faced up to life in prison but today a 20 year old jacksonville man robert howard received a much shorter sentence for a deadly shooting four years ago following a Reigns high school football game. At the time of the crime, Howard was 16. 19-year-old Joe Rod Adams died. Two other teens were wounded. Adams' mother spoke with News for Jack reporter Corley Peel, who's joining us live with more. Tom, Robert Howard was initially arrested on a second-degree murder charge. That charge was upgraded to first-degree murder, but he has now been sentenced to manslaughter and aggravated battery because witnesses stopped cooperating. And I spoke with Joe Ron Adams. Joe Ron Adams was shot and killed after a Reigns High School football game in 2018. What have these past few years been like for you and your family? It's been hell emotional. Now, Robert Howard is sentenced to manslaughter and aggravated battery in Adams' death. He was originally charged with second-degree and first-degree murder, but it was reduced after eyewitnesses recanted their statements. But then they, they talked to other people about it. I didn't get to speak my... What, what Spaz's mom was saying is they talked to other witnesses and basically allegedly threatened them. Nobody came to court. Ain't no real justice for you know what i'm saying spaz 1200 now kenny k being close to one of fulio's ops who allegedly trying to murk him or hanging with people who want to murk him left i'm not trying to go too deep but y'all can read between the lines basically you dig what i'm saying now this guy tk right here was part of a group that y'all gotta understand is called nhg and 1200 as well now gutter Z used to be part of that group and hg he fell out or whatever happened now he's with 1200 i know they call him atk as well but you get the gist of things he mostly hung with tay shots a lot of things to go between it because people are mixing it because they don't know friendship or what's going on all these people were cool with each other that's why you can see a mizzle around fulio but he's hanging with the same guy that's seen hanging with 
Kenny Caps. So, I mean, Kenny Caps. So, did Kenny Caps bring Mizzle? Because if Kenny Caps was close with this guy, TK, and Mizzle is super close with him to the point they got matching shoes, I understand why certain people in Jacksonville felt like Kenny Caps backdoored Fulio. I don't feel that way. You dig what I'm saying? But a lot of people been in my DM saying this. The only reason I'm only talking about this is because of what we see with the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a commercial break coming before I continue. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I'm tired of you, little dick bastard, out there talking bad about me. Bitch, that's why I scrub my asshole with your toothbrush. Mr. I don't eat ass, well, you ate ass when you brushed your teeth. <laughs> Look it up, sis. I got a new nigga from the hill. And if I got a problem, he gon' let that thing feel. You said I never fuck a nigga like I fucked you. Mm -hmm. Well, I put the pussy on him, made him go. Oh, oh he no. gon' get in it. And he gon' spin it. And I'ma do a split on the zip like a gymnast. Remember when you used to suck the spark out my ass? Yes, Remember when you used to eat the pussy out your nose? Mm -hmm. So how I'm a hoe? Please let a bitch know. You fucked up your real now you sitting there, bro. Why you like the west side, nigga, stop me in your head? Make you go to the store and get some hot Cheetos, nigga. Hot Cheetos, though, he's a weak hoe. But my new nigga play with that Drake, though. And he gon' put it in my butt for his deep down. You was right. I'm a freak hoe. Talking about you gonna tell everybody right here my panties at? First of all, those are scary panties, nigga. I'm tired of you, little dick. Back to regularly scheduled programming. So to see Kenny Cabs hanging around certain individuals. And when I talked to the hotel staff, they said a lot of the friends just ran and left Fulio. That was kind of disturbing, but I do understand when guns are blazing, everybody runs. And that's why I don't lie to young kids. Just cause you hanging with all these people in the click. Now I'm not calling them cowards, but when people get the shooting, everybody do run. We know this already, so I don't get the line to nobody. Now, Fulio knows about the double cross. He speaks about that himself when he's hanging around certain people and he sees the double cross coming. He spoke about it on the day when he almost had his whole foot blown off. When I walk outside, I sit down. I'm sitting in my car for like two seconds. I'm like, down. what gas there's no for to go to? Because you can't just go there in the gas station. My shit. So I'm trying to pick like the safest one, even though ain't none of that safe. So I picked the gas station, I pull out, I see a car, but I'm like, Sh I ain't really thinking too much of it. But when I'm backing out, that zoom like behind me, it stopped. Like, so I hit the bridge. I'm like, that's I'm finna let that bitch get in front of me. I ain't finna let them get behind me. So that hop in front of me and sh we get to the next stop sign. That bitch bust a little top out with a blowing that bitch down. And like the car went and drive, so that bitch start. I'm like, damn, I'm dead. I be on the drive, I hit the gas, smash the gas to the next start sign, bust the right. And that bitch went and drive no more. I hopped out. I jumped, I like jumped behind like a, I don't know if it was a van or a truck. Hopped behind they. Sh I was just laying up for like 10 minutes. I'm like, damn, I'm shot. So I get up, I'm like, I can't walk or nothing. I'm, I'm knowing my foot f***ed up. I knock on the people's door house, I'm like, I'm shot. Like, I'm bamming on that bitch, like, I'm shot. Y'all open the bitch. I'm hitting the rain camera and all. I'm looking through that bitch. I see a. He's sitting on the couch. I'm, I don't know if he had headphones in or what. I'm bamming on that bitch. He ain't paying me no mind. I'm like, what the f So I hop back to the car and, shit, and then shit, I just drive to the hospital to hit a hundred. Bro, when I walk outside, I sit down. I'm sitting in my car for like two seconds. I'm like, damn, what guy? Now, during that same interview with No Jumper, Fulio would let everybody know how he was hit up and he blamed his own cousin to that point. That's how you know things got deep. But my thing is, after Fulio blamed his own cousin to why he got hit up, something had to personally happen to make you blame your own cousin. So when the so-called people are calling Kenny Tap, I mean Kenny Caps, a uh, op or a uh, backdoor, I can't vouch for it and I can't defend him. You feel me? Like I don't know. That's on Kenny Caps to let people know why is Jacksonville trying to blame him for Fulio's situation. Now, Kenny Caps had got arrested by the feds less than three days after Fulio got killed for moving weight. And a lot of things happened with that. So things went left with that too. So you dig what I'm saying? We're gonna fall back a little bit to that extent on going in on this situation because he's not here to defend himself. But to see Fulio hanging around all these backdoor-like people after he brings up his own cousin as a person who's trying to backdoor him, but you're hanging around Mizzle, 
who's also hanging around all these other people it was just a lot of things in time to make you understand and know Fulio wasn't prepared that day and i'm not gonna use none Latin. of that shit nigga i won't even be on instagram smiling yeah i agree with him i wouldn't be on instagram smiling after my homies are dying and it's like some of his people are up on clubhouse including his girlfriend not even five hours after he was killed she was on clubhouse that's wild to me uh, allegedly let me be better than that maybe not even 18 hours after he was killed she was on clubhouse i don't want to say five hours but it was something like that to that extent you know what i mean like she's up on clubhouse and they killed your dude and you up here going back back and forth smiling with them like what is you flirting so it's a lot of weird situations with people who knows this and that i don't know i'm not into all that it's too much weird stuff but there was a report earlier today i'm gonna break news on it but i'll give you a snippet and there's nothing to do with the people who killed fulio who are caught but there's another person who's their associate but i will play a snippet and the chief said that they have made an arrest in at least one of the recent crimes. We are waiting to get information on that arrest. Meanwhile, the chief said any concerned neighbors should join their neighborhood watch and remain vigilant. So I'm just only here to speak about what's coming into light to see Kenny Caps and Fulio so close since he was a youngin. But during this time, he was close to the when people I walk outside, I who sit Fulio down. Ben was, you know what I mean, in beef with or in tune with each other in these Jacksonville streets. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know in the comment sections what you think of all this. I'm your guy, DJ Bless, one the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and definitely, truly, indeed, stay blessed. Peace. <laughs> I've been so many times. I